Hello guys, it is the Gaming Weasel back again with another video and in today's video, how to farm Caliban. Now, Caliban is the new Warframe that came out with the new war and I just want to say before we actually start the video, you do need to have completed the new war to actually have uh, the, the option of farming Caliban. Now, his blueprint is purchasable through the market, so if you go here and then type Caliban, you're gonna see go to Caliban and just purchase the blueprint for 50,000 credits. Now, if you actually want his port, you're gonna have to go to Cetus, and this is where the complete the uh, new war comes in. You need to go to Cetus, and you're gonna go to Konzu. Now, we're gonna go to, to an empty one just, just because, you know. And then I'll show you what you need to do to actually get to the ports. Uh, it's not that hard. He's one of the easiest warframes to farm. Sorry, that was my phone in the background. Uh, but he's actually like one of the easier warframes to farm re in recent times. So just go fast travel to Konzu, go to bounties. And then if you go here, let me just see. I think it is this war for the Unum, the Narmer bounties. And as you can see right here, you will get uh, Narmer Isoplast. You will get new mods, uh, which is the nearest hatred, 150 percent health and 15 percent ability duration it increases damage from slam attacks by 100 percent uh, so i'm going to be talking about these a little bit later on i guess uh, not right now and as you can see we have caliban's chassis here anomaly shards uh, you will be able to get uh without any issue uh, by doing the veil um Proxima, uh, I guess, anomalies inside of Railjack. Uh, the normal isoplast, you're gonna get pretty easily. I don't think it's gonna be, you know, that hard to get. You have uh, the also a new weapon here. We have uh, the Neferi blueprint, uh, which is, of course, the swords that uh, the wolf used. So that is a very good thing. I, I cannot wait to actually use this weapon. And we also have, as I said, a new mod uh, for dual daggers 90% melee damage and 30% extra slash teleport to a target within 10 meters on heavy attack so that's really cool as well but here the rotation will go uh, every i think one uh, one hour and 45 minutes the rotation will change and you will be able to get yourself uh, other parts from uh, him as well now as you can see there are no different bounties so you have to keep that in mind now when it is night time the uh, not the actual missions but uh, the I'm actually not sure why this is a rare reward, but okay. I, I'm guessing this is place order, maybe. Uh, but uh, nonetheless, uh, the rotation is every one hour and 45 minutes, and you will be able to get all three parts by doing these missions, doing these bounties. And uh, one thing I wanted to say when it is nighttime on Cetus, uh, you will be able to go to Fortuna and do them there. So Basically, that is it. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, leave a like, a comment, and subscribe for more content. And I will see you guys on the next one. The Gaming Weasel, over and out.